you know, Eric Young's in it. They're not really, you know, old bandmates or anything like that. I, I don't know. I just don't think he fits. I don't. I just don't like the guy. All right, here is uh, here is your last chance, guys. We got six minutes left until we hit ten o'clock Eastern time. Like I said, guys, especially you guys in the UK. I know it's like two, three, four o'clock in the morning over there, and you guys that stay up, I cannot thank you enough for uh, for staying up late. We're gonna be here every Tuesday night from eight to ten Eastern time. We got the production issues resolved. Yes, 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 yes. Everything is uh, is good to go on that end. Um, we made it through, my man. Two hours tonight huh beautiful beautiful yeah, and we both we both called it that's all that knocking on wood buddy yeah no doubt we got to do that more often knock on <laughs> wood man. knock on wood um all right one last chance guys if you weren't able to get through earlier this is only for guys that weren't able to get through earlier if you already got through leave me alone man give us a call 518 712 3070. Once again, 518-712-3070. If you didn't get through earlier, now's your chance. If you call me and I've already spoken to you, I'm, uh, whatever. I don't know. Give us a call. 518-712-3070. Guys in the live chat, thanks for coming out tonight. We had a huge, huge turnout tonight. Um, like I said, every Tuesday night we're going to be here from 8 to 10 Eastern Time. One more call, and then we are going to bounce out of here. Caller, you're live on WZR Radio here on WZRonline.com. What's, uh, what's on your mind? Yeah, what's up, man? This is Trace from South Carolina. What's up, buddy? Hello. What's up? I'm calling to see what do y'all think about TNA um, giving out all these big main event matches on free TV before they, like, build it up on a pay-per-view. Like, for instance, I read the spoilers for yesterday, they're going to have Jeff Hardy versus Sting. I think that should have been, like, been, you know, I think that should have been, like, for pay-per-view, like a Bound for Glory thing. What do you think about them giving out big matches like that before they have it on a pay-per-view and then have a couple matches? You know what, you know what, dude, it's all about ratings, man, and... It's all about a draw. It, they need to show, especially now, man, with, uh, you know, with, with going from, uh... Monday nights back to Thursday, you're trying to get people tuned back in and people accustomed to knowing that, hey, Impact is back on Thursday nights from 9 to 11, you know what I mean? And the way to do that is to, you know, put on big matches and, and show Spike TV that you've got to do it. And I understand that... I know exactly what you're talking about, where you're giving these free matches away on TV when they should be on pay-per-views. But TNA has to do this now in order to build their fan base. And then, you know, maybe do... I mean, it sounds pathetic, but it's just it, it's got to work both ways, you know what I mean? And TNA knows they've got to draw... They've got to deliver ratings on Thursday nights, and that's the exact reason why that they, they do these matches on TV and not on... Uh, I mean, look at WWE. They did Edge versus fucking Christian last night on Monday Night Raw with no build-up. What's... Are you fucking I love kidding? It. <laughs> are you fucking kidding me? You're going to do Edge versus Christian with no build-up whatsoever. Are you fucking serious? You know what I mean? And that just shows you that, I, I mean, Kristen is not a star in their eyes. You know what I mean? Kristen mm-hmm. is, is just a nobody. Kristen is another mid-card nobody in their eyes. And, and they just threw that match together. I mean, for us on the Internet, I mean, Edge versus Christian, come on, man. That's pay-per-view. That's got storyline. That's got a, a three-, four-month storyline written all over it. And they did it last night on Raw with no build-up. Was, uh, God, I hated it. I hated it, man. <laughs> oh, God. Whatever. Well, you really, you really nailed it on the head, though, buddy. About uh, TNA. I mean, they really need to worry about you know gaining an audience on Thursday before they can worry about you know pay per view matches. Right, right. Yeah, it's just I, uh, I mean, build up the audience on Thursday, and then the hope is you know you build your audience up on Thursday. The higher the ratings, the more pay per view buy rates. It all leads to one thing leads to another. You know, higher impact ratings lead to higher pay per view buy rates. Da 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 da, and it just you know, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Just on and sure on and do. on. So, all right, we're uh, we got to get out of here. You know what? One more. One more. One more call. <laughs> Last call. This is it. I promise you. This is it. Call you live on WZR Radio here on WZROnline.com. What's your name? Where are you from? Hey, what's up, man? This is Ryan from uh, Oklahoma. What's up, what's buddy? What's up, buddy? What's up, man? Hey, uh, I have a couple questions for you guys. Um, 
first off, I wanted to know if you guys have heard any update with the whole sex scandal in the WWE, with the corporate, corporate office and all that. Uh, there's not going to be many updates on that, man. WWE's denied the claims, and uh, unless Irv Mushnick gets uh, gets any more details, man, I'm not going to have them because he's the one that broke that story. But WWE is not going to issue any statements on it. They're going to let it blow over. But uh, it's interesting to say the least, you know. For sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, my other question was, uh, I know that you know lots of people talk about. TNA needs a second show. Needs a second show for with all the talents they have. Um, I was wondering why don't they kind of do what WCW did with Nitro and try to do like a three-hour show instead? Well, there's two. There, there's a couple big things about that, buddy. You need the money to do that, and they're really struggling with the money. They don't have Ted Turner's wallet to even have, you know, not only two shows, but just to have one three-hour show. It's all about money, buddy. Well, they've also got that uh, TNA. What is it? The uh, the show that they do. I mean, there's going to be a three-hour block every uh, every Thursday night, I believe. They're doing that TNA fan. What's the the backstage stuff that they do? Oh yeah, that. Uh, what's it called? Um, yeah, what's it? It's. Uh, TNA interaction or something, right? Yeah, something like that, but I just can't see them having three hours worth of impact anytime soon. No, no, no. They'll keep it two hours. The, the plan is to build up that Thursday night time slot, get it back to where it was, you know, that 1.1, 1.2, build up from there, and then eventually possibly go back to Mondays. It's not going to happen anytime soon whatsoever. The plan is to just build up the uh, Thursday night show. All right, we are uh, we are over the limit. It's 10 o'clock Eastern time. NXT has just started on the Sci-Fi Network, so go check that out, guys. Thanks for coming, as always. Stay tuned to WZRonline.com for uh, site updates all week long. We're going to be adding tons and tons of new stuff. Chris, it's been fun, my man. I'll see you next Tuesday night, 8 to 10 Eastern Time. Every Tuesday night, guys, 8 to 10 Eastern Time on WZRonline.com. For Chris Haller, this is Ryan Clark saying see you next Tuesday, 8 to 10 Eastern Time, WZRonline.com.